A big 2-2 pitch coming up here from Christian Jones. And swing and a miss, strike three. So Christian Jones gets his first punch out of the afternoon. And Meridian leaves a couple of base runners stranded. Banks and Braden in the 2-3 hole. And Banks is going to shoot that one right back up the middle for a base hit. So Tolly continues his good hitting ways. And Meridian's got a one-out single on that comebacker by Banks Tolly. See him maybe get double number 10 right here. But he's going to get a single instead the other direction. Good piece of hitting there by Braden Luke as he went to the back side of the field there. All right, here's the 2-0 to Rayner, and he's going to pop that one up. And Rayner slams his bat down, not happy with that A-B, and it's going to be caught by, no, he's dropped it! He dropped the baseball, and two runs are going to score. Wow, a routine fly ball is dropped. Top of the second inning. Here's the 2-2. There's a ground ball. Fair down the right field line. Just got out of the reach of the first baseman, and Johnson's going to get a long single out of this. Three RBIs combined there. And did he check his swing? He did go around, strike three. So Coleman's gonna go down on strike. So second strikeout victim. And here's the two one. There's another base hit the other direction. That is the second time Braden Luke has shot one the other way. And it's gonna be runners at first and third. Good base running there by Banks Tolly. Here's the 0-1 to Mason. And that one shot the other direction for a base hit. So two opposite field singles by the West Lauderdale connection, and Meridian takes a 4-3 to three read. All right, McCorder ready to roll here against Davis Ferguson, 0-2. Swing and a miss. What a nice job there by Davis Ferguson. Three straight strikes. Here's the payoff from Ferguson, and he got him on the outside corner, called strike three. So Ferguson comes out of the bullpen, gets a couple of strikeouts, and he's taken off, and here's the throw out towards second base, and that's going to be nowhere near, and Keyshawn's going to jump up and head toward third, so that'll be a stolen base for Keyshawn, and he's going to try to score right here, and here's the throw toward home plate, and what about that from Keyshawn Collier? you got to give him a big hand right there. Collier caught everyone napping right there. Manufactures a run on the legs of Keyshawn Collier. Now Bridley Thomas going to deliver a base hit down into the left field corner. He'll truck around first base, and he'll be standing at second. Actually, he's just going to go ahead and slide anyway into second base. And it's coming to the plate here on Banks Tolly, and Tolly's going to drive that one up the middle. Nice play by the shortstop, Walters, and he is safe at first base. Banks Tolly beats the wrap on the head first slide. Here comes that 3-2 offering from Ferguson, and he got him to go around. Strike three, swing, and a miss by McCauley. John Mitchell, I don't know. We'll wait and see, but first things first, Brett Mason's going to shoot one the other direction. It is down for a base hit, and Brett Mason's going to be at second with a leadoff double. So Mason is going to get on with an extra base hit. John Mitchell. And Mitchell is going to ground this one out toward third base. And he can't make the play. It's going to go off of his glove, a little backhand play. Comes up empty. Butler's at third, and Mitchell's at second, and Mason will score. Butler's going to play in here for Gulf Coast. First pitch to Dice is going to be driven out to left center field. That ball is going to drop for a base hit. That was in no man's land out there for Gulf Coast. And Butler's going to score from third, and Caleb Dice delivers on an RBI base hit. Back in the sixth inning. And Thomas is going to drive that one right at McCorder at third base. And they're going to try to throw him out at first. No chance. So an infield single for Bridley Thomas. That's going to drive Dice home from third. And Meridian takes a 10-5 lead now. Here comes the 0-1 to Banks. And there's a ground ball. Going to get past the shortstop for a base hit. One run is going to score. They're going to check up Bridley Thomas at third. So another RBI single by Banks Tolly. Here's the 1-2. And that one, did it hit Luke? It came pretty close. Now, Bridley Thomas is going to take off from third, and he will score. And he was delayed right there on scoring from third. So that's going to be a wild pitch. As the count's two and two here on Luke. And he's going to go the other direction for extra bases. That's going to get all the way down in the left field corner. Luke has taken off towards second. That'll drive in Banks Tolly easily. And Meridian just keeps scoring. Here's the first pitch to Butler, and he's going to go the other direction for a base hit. Good piece of base hitting right there by Brock Butler. Here comes Braden Luke. Pretty good throw here toward home plate, but Luke is going to dive toward home plate. And Brock Butler, how do you do? RBI single for Brock Butler. Here's the 2-0, and there's a line drive out toward left field. That's going to drop for another base hit, and Butler will check up at second base. And actually, Brock kind of stumbled as he was headed toward second base. Here's the payoff, and got him on the outside corner. Nice pitch there by Perry. He got a sliver of the corner, 
for his first strikeout out of the bullpen. Nice pitch there by the former Yellow Jacket. And here's the 0-1 to Andon Johnson. He drives that one out toward right field. That's back toward the wall. That's back, that's back. That's out of here for Andon Johnson. Guess what, folks, as that ball goes out of the ballpark for Andon Johnson, that is home run number one of his career here at MCC. Comes the 1-1 one -one to Tolly, and there's a ground ball, tough ground ball over the glove of Hardy there at second base, and that's going to easily score Keyshawn Collier from second. That ball had a lot of English on it. It'll be his ninth appearance of the season. 1-2 pitch coming up, swing and a miss, strike three. So Huggins comes out of the bullpen and gets a fly ball to right field and then a strikeout and stuff like that. One oh, pitch is driven down the right field line. That's going to be extra bases for Caleb Dice. He rounds first. He'll head off to second. They're going to hold John Mitchell at third. Throw comes back to the infield, and that's going to get away, and Mitchell's going to score anyway. So Mitchell will score on the poor throw back toward the infield. In Meridian game. And strike three, swing and a miss. That's the second punch out out of the bullpen by Huggins. That has some giddy up on it. Three RBIs. And he's going to get another hit. That's going to be extra bases potentially here for Banks Tolly. He's around first, headed towards second. Here's the throw. And it's not going to be in time as Banks Tolly does it one more time. Hey, boy, is he put a big dent in that average today. And there's a ground ball right back up the middle. Base hit by Braden Luke. That should score Tolly from third. And Braden Luke adds to his RBI total as he drives in Banks Tolly. Third run scored for Tolly. Two twos driven into left field. Did he do it? It's back to the wall. It's back. It's back. And it is gone for Brock Butler. Butler gets his first one of the season. So Butler walks us off on a run rule victory here in game one, 21 to 12.